Hi friends, it's Jenna, and today I would like to talk about organization, which is not something that I'm really good at, which is why I want to talk about it, <laughs> trying to figure out um, the best method of organizing my writing. So as you can see down here, I've got a couple different apps going to help me with that. Uh, the first one is Bear. And I've been using this for two years or so, I think. And I really love it for a lot of reasons. It's very aesthetically pleasing. It's pretty easy to organize. Like, all you have to do is, like, tag your sheets and they'll all group together. It uses markup, which is really a pretty easy formatting language. Um, yeah, and it's just, it's just, it's practically perfect in every way, except for the fact that it does not do tables. And I like having tables <laughs> to help me organize things. Um, you know, just, just having a list is okay, but I, I just really love a table. Which leads me to app number two, Notion. Which is kind of a table-based um, app there. It's, it's you know, well, you can do personal wikis, you can do databases. And but the, the thing that um, I like about it most is that it introduced me to oops, the Kanban board. And so, let's see if I can, there we go. Close, thank you. All right, so for instance, um, you can create something in the Kanban board format right here, and then you can also switch it to a table view, just depending on what you want to do. So like with the, the Kanban board, you know, once you finish a project, you move it into the next column, and, and that's a good... Or you can just have it in the, the table format and change the status, and yay, that's, that's everything. You can also set it up to view by due date. So, gosh, we're in Q2 already. <laughs> Yikes. Um... So that's that's another option, and you can do all kinds of things with it. Like they have templates where that you can use, like uh, create a bullet journal kind of thing where you've got like a habit tracker and, and your calendars and all that sort of thing. Um, I just added this last night, so there isn't anything really in it aside from the example. But you know, a way to to just keep basic notes sort of thing, and then your personal stuff, which again I haven't added a whole lot to. It's still just the um, the, the template, but, you know, here, you can see here that these are some of the possibilities that you can do with it, and as far as a writing tool goes, I mean, it is really good, like, here's my, my big list of next, just in a table, and then, you know, switch it over to the Kanban board view, and see all the little notes that I've made to myself and my visual inspiration and yes I do a lot of face casting it really helps me <laughs> a lot to get a face in mind for a character to like just kind of know who they are um I don't know all that sort of thing and then I've got you know a lot of other notes for writing stuff down there so it's it's really nice, but I'm not, I'm, I'm not sure exactly why it doesn't work for me completely because it like I said, it is practically perfect as is bare, but it's just not as pretty, I guess is the thing. It's just not as aesthetically pleasing as bare is. So if I could combine anything, it would be the aesthetics of bare with the <clears throat> the usefulness of notion. Which is our third thing, Trello, 
which clearly I, I also quite like. Um, I, I just use the free version so it's not, it doesn't have quite as many whistles and bells as the paid version does. Like I can't do custom backgrounds and things like that. That's not a deal breaker. Oh God. Oh, excuse me. I had a really bad sleep night the other night and it's still kind of kicking my ass. Um, and so this of course is, is mostly in, you know, it's entirely in a Kanban board. It doesn't have a whole lot of other functionalities, but the Kanban is so functional that it doesn't need to do a whole lot else. Like for instance, as you can see, I can use it to outline. I can assign myself deadlines and all that sort of thing. Um, and it's, it's really nice, but it's not like, I guess what I'm asking myself a lot is, do I want to use something like Notion, which is kind of an all in one app and like do my actual writing in Notion? And I'm not sure that I do. Because, as I've said before, I really like Ulysses. And it's a good research tool. It's a good data storage tool type of thing. It's good for drafting. It's good for outlining. Um, and it's also, you know, it's got this lovely minimalist feel to it, which just makes me really happy. So... I get stymied by things like this. <laughs> Part of having clinical anxiety is having difficulty making decisions, and I am having a lot of difficulty making decisions about what, where I want to center all of my thoughts. And then, of course, I've got other things as well. I, I use a bullet journal program called Zinnia that's here on the end. Um, I use Good Notes quite a few things because I do like handwriting it's just easier to do it in a place where I'm not going to have to retype it and this has a pretty decent um, handwriting conversion algorithm type thing algorithm is that the right word anyway it, it recognizes my handwriting pretty well although I do prefer where to go Nebo a bit for that and you know, Nebo's fun just because you can choose all these pretty colors. <laughs> and and it does, you know, handle my handwriting pretty well. And then I have uh, quite a few other, you know, notes programs that I've tried out over the years. Like I used OneNote for a long time, like since the early 2000s. And I've kind of been moving away from that just because I've been trying to move away from Microsoft things in general. Um, but I still have it because I still have so much stuff in it. And then Mindly is a really nice one for brainstorming. <clears throat> and it's really pretty. And you can do, you know, all kinds of... What's a good one that I can just illustrate? Well, that doesn't have anything. How about this one? It doesn't really have anything either, but you know you can do the mind mapping sort of thing, and it's it's pretty good for as as far as that goes. Um, I'm not sure that I make good use of mind mapping software too well, and I need to restore my purchase. Darn it! Um, you don't want to store it back. Yeah, I'm not sure that this is the best way of outlining for me, though. I'm, I, I think it's more for visual people than it is for myself. Um, so, yeah, I, as you can see, I've tried out a lot of different types of note programs and, and kind of come into what I'm really happy with. And yes, that is Benedict Cumberbatch in the back. I think he's pretty. <laughs> He's been my big old ob object of crush for quite some time. Um, and then a myriad over here of 
Well, not as many as there used to be. I guess I took a lot of them off. Of writing programs that I've tried out, including Scrivener. And I initially bought an iPad because of the promise of a mobile version of Scrivener. Um, it just took so I mean, it just took forever for it to get done. And I know that there was a lot of extenuating circumstances that caused that. But by the time that it was finally released, I had kind of settled on Ulysses anyway. Because it just, you know, does everything that I want it to do. And then I've got a few, like, typewriter, emulator type things. Because sometimes you just need that sound, you know? Sometimes I just need that sound anyway. I like Hanks Rider a lot. Um, but it does tend to crash and lose things. And that's... That's not good. But it is also very pretty. And I do like things to be kind of pretty. Though, again, I'm not the most visual person ever. So, that's kind of a tour of my iPad, I suppose. And just, you know, things that I have tried out, things that I've used, things that I flip back and forth to. I, the main reason, I guess, that I want to, you know, decide on a note app once and for all is that... I don't like writing the same thing over and over in like three or four different places. Um, I do have like a physical writer's notebook. I, I think of it more as like a commonplace book kind of thing though than like one strictly dedicated to a particular story or anything like that. Like all my notes for Continuo are spread out over probably four or five note physical notebooks, um, which is probably not the best way to do things. But I've also typed a lot of those notes into good notes here and kind of, you know, tried to consolidate them and tried to organize them. And then I get bored and then I switch them over to something else. <laughs> Which is not good, but here we are. Um, so, yeah, leave me your thoughts. What kind of organization system do you use for your for your notes and your outlines and your character sheets and all that sort of thing? Uh, do you have a particular system, or is it all kind of willy-nilly like mine is? And at some point, I do want to do like a bullet journal flip-through type thing as well, but as with many things, I haven't quite decided on exactly um, which which app I want to use for that because there are so many out there and some of them are so neat and you know it's it kind of doesn't always come down to like functionality <laughs> which is pretty bad but we keep going you know we keep trying all right friends we'll talk again soon